spin. LeBond comes in there and throws a big check on McDonald. And Aisman gets the puck ahead. The center turned it over. Herbis will step up. Herbis wants to carry in on the left wing, working ahead into the silver tip corner. LePon and Oslansky get the gloves up. Are they going to go? They are. LePon and Oslansky. Second game for LePon with a fight. Trying to get that right hand free. We know LePon can throw it both. Oslansky trying to get loose. Now LePon shakes off an elbow pad. Upper tucks, uppercuts by Oslansky missing. Now they get freed up. Right hands by Oslansky. LePon holding that right. Now comes and pops one. Pops two. Oslansky over the top again. And that'll be that. Oh, LePon and Oslansky. Looked like LePon was ready to let the linesman step in. And Oslansky tried a late shot there. Well, J.C. LePon, one of the top scorers in the WHL, taking on all comers when it comes to the Everett Silver Tips. And he just kind of winced and just hoped J.C. LePon comes out of that situation okay. Uh, obviously, he's a tough player. Uh, I saw he and his lance get words a couple of times around the bench here this evening, and uh, LePon's never going to shy down from that. So he and his Lansky going a, in a good fight, both landing some pretty big shots. J.C. LePon, a couple big uppercuts midway through the fight, and his Lansky landing a big left hand just at the end. When, Didn't when like that. That late punch there looked yeah. like the pawn had stopped right and the lines are ready to come in but Aslansky I think just wanted his night to be over with the third period that he's had here and some of the turnovers and and they get together have a scrap that's a fair fight a couple guys equal size Aslansky they just showed the replay a real late punch that LaPon did like 